Hi, my name is Alex with Ape Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be taking a deep dive into JSM pricing. Do you get many customer requests in languages that your agents can't speak? Then language translations for JSM by our good friends over at Resolution is the perfect app for you. It allows you to leave a great impression on your customers without having to hire folks to speak every specific language that your customers speak. Check it out in the marketplace and oh, by the way, there's a 20% discount in the description down below, so make sure you use that when you start your trial. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, drop a like if you get value out of this video, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. Now, JSM is a very, very exciting product. If you've seen some of my other JSM versus other tools comparisons, you know that pricing is a really, really big deal. And I really, really do love what Atlassian does here with their very transparent pricing. Any team anywhere in the world can go to Atlassian's website, punch in the number of people that they have in their team, and you're gonna get a price. Now, there's a lot of stuff happening and you get a lot of functionality or don't get, depending on the price that you want to pay. So in this video, I'm going to help break down all the different features that you get at the various price points and give you my expert level recommendation as to which version of JSM I would recommend for you and your team. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start off with the prices. If you have three agents or less, you can get away with zero. That's right. You can actually set up a full functioning ITSM tool for free as long as you only have three agents or less. Now, what is an agent? Well, an agent is what Atlassian calls the users of Jira Service Management. These users are different than your Jira software users. Now, in the future video, I am gonna be comparing the differences between JSM and Jira software, so make sure you drop a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out when I publish that video in the near future. But the agents are the people that are actually going to consume a license because they're the ones that are going to actually interact with the requests that go into Jira service management. And again, these users are independent. They're different than your Jira software users. However, with that said, it is possible for your Jira software user to also be an agent depending on the dynamic and your team's configuration. I will tell you though, if you have a lot of site at level administrators out of the box, when you first set it up, your site administrators or org admins for that matter are automatically going to consume a Jira service management license and a Jira software license. So if you don't want that to happen, you may need to do some changes, but it's done that way because your administrators of Atlassian are going to have to be able to access everything anyways in order to do your configurations and set up your Jira and Jira service management correctly. So this might be a necessary evil. But with that said, if you exceed your three agents, then that's usually when most teams get bumped up to the $21 price. And as you can see here, 21 is basically our standard pricing. And this honestly is where I recommend most teams that are, are exploring or thinking about setting up an ITSM. This is where I would tell you to basically start and stop because the standard is going to give you pretty much everything that you need, which we're going to again describe later in this video, but it's going to give you pretty much everything, all the features, and it's just $21 as compared to other tools that basically start like at $50. So JSM is going to give you the most bang for your buck at this $21 price point. But for those that want all the bells and whistles, Atlassian does offer a $47 premium, which again is still a steal, considering that other tools like ServiceNow start at $50,000, for your users and, a, and Zendesk, which is a very, very big popular competitor to JSM, their cheapest option is 50 bucks. So $47 seems like a bargain to me at this point because you're gonna get literally almost every single bell and whistle that JSM has to offer at this $47 price point. I will say though, however, that one of the negatives, but this applies to any cloud-based product, is that expect an increase to your pricing, your monthly pricing, 
every single October. That's that's usually when Atlassian makes their changes across their entire cloud products. But what do you get for these prices, right? I've already told you standard is going to be the sweet spot. That's usually where you're going to want to be. And there's two cases for why you would want to go to premium. And we're going to talk about those as well. But across the board, you're going to get agents. And again, these agents are the folks that are going to actually work the tickets. Your customers here, your unlimited customers is very key because while these 21 and $47 prices don't call it out explicitly, right? It says everything in the free plan. I want to remind you that JSM does give you unlimited free customers. You don't have to pay for these licenses. But what exactly is a customer? Well, a customer is anybody that is going to submit a request. So they're going to use JSM from an external perspective to put information into JSM that then the agents, the people you have a license for, they're then going to work those requests and then hopefully, fingers crossed, make your customers happy. So that's what it means when you have unlimited customers. And these are completely free. You don't pay for them unless if your customer wants to change the data once it's recreated or if they need to, again, somehow update the statuses themselves, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Usually that's something that only the agents do. But that's what you mean when you get email customers. Now, 100 email notifications, this is a pain point. This is a bit of a sour thing because you're, when you're on the free version, you're limited to how many email notifications are going to go out. But fortunately for you, most real big companies, right, people that have more than three people in their team, they're going to be on standard anyways. And that's when you're going to get unlimited email notifications. Now, email notifications are very, very important in JSM because they make the world go around in JSM even more than they do in Jira software. Every time that a request is created, your agents are going to get a notification. And then anytime that the customer updates the status, because a common scenario, and again, we're going to do way more videos on JSM in the future, but a common scenario is that a request comes in and then your team is kind of blocked or they get stuck or they need more clarification. So they, they pose a question back to the customer and then they go work on something else. And while they wait those two minutes or 10 hours or 10 days for that customer to reply, your agent might have forgotten about it and they're not always actively checking to see if there's an update. So the email notifications are going to be very critical and play a very, very important role in updating your team to tell them, hey, the customer has come back. You might want to do something about it. Getting tickets in Arabic, Chinese, or Spanish? No problem. With language translation for JSM, your agents will engage with your customers as if they were natives. Simply install the app from the Atlassian Marketplace and define your project default language and go. Oh, and while you're doing that, make sure you check out the description down below because our good friends over at Resolution have provided us with a 20% discount that you can use when you sign up for language translation for JSM. Don't miss this chance as they only have a few left. So that's kind of what you get there. And then for the $47 pricing here, the really the biggest thing that you get is this asset and configuration management. That's really at a very, very high level. That's probably the most important part you get when you more than double your price. But let me tell you, asset and configuration management in JSM is a very complex thing to do. The configuration of itself from an administrative perspective is very trivial. It's not that hard, but the architecture, it's a functionality built into JSM premium that is like infinitely customizable, like really, really infinitely customizable. And it's like anything goes. So you really kind of need to know what you're looking for and what you want out of this asset and configuration management in order for this thing to make sense. And most teams are just want to track some inventory or they just want to track, you know, the how many items of a specific thing that they have or if somebody has a computer checked out to them. And I would recommend that you use inventory plugins for that because it's going to be significantly cheaper than doubling the price for premium. I honestly don't think that asset and configuration management makes it worth it. Now you do also get things like instant advanced incident management and things of that nature. But in my experience, I've tried to personally set up this advanced incident management and I had to give up like at last since documentation, I think it might've just been something that I was doing about two years ago where their documentation and the features and the stuff I was actually seeing in JSM were just not matching up. 
So I had a really, really hard time doing it. And I have a really, really hard time recommending advanced incident managing being a reason why you double, more than double the price of your JSM. So I definitely wouldn't go for it uh, on that basis. Now the unlimited storage, this is gonna vary from person to person, but 250 gigabytes is a lot of storage and it should get you through. Um, most of the time though, if, if you have a lot of customers uploading a lot of content to you, maybe they, there's a lot of attachments or you're relying on PDFs or something like that, that might warrant you to go up to the unlimited storage. I've never seen anybody run out of space on the standard, but I also haven't really checked. But that's kind of what you get. And then obviously if you're on enterprise, the biggest thing you're gonna get on enterprise here is you're going to get HIPAA compliance. So if you need JSM, if you need a service, an ITSM tool that is for HIPAA, then enterprise is gonna be your only bet. Now, unfortunately with enterprise, does uh, it also does mean that you need to sign up for a very, very high user or agent tier. So you're gonna to wanna to talk to your Atlassian representative in order to figure out if enterprise is the right solution for you. Now I did hear that Atlassian was trying to bring HIPAA down to the other cheaper tiers, but I haven't seen that materialize just yet. But I did wanna call out that if you are gonna be in HIPAA, be ready to have your wallet open, like wide open, and you're gonna pay a pretty penny in order to get that. But that's kind of it. Those are the differences between the free, standard, and premium. Obviously there's a whole lot more, but I just don't wanna make this video too long. So in the comment section down below, let me know if there's one of these that you would like for me to explain. But Atlassian does a pretty good job at basically breaking these down and explaining to you, you have the little green check mark that tells you what it does or doesn't do. And so all, all of these, if you just click on it, it's gonna give you a deeper definition and describe what it actually means. Go ahead and feel free and look through this list. But I basically summarized what was the important things that I wanted you to know, because again, it, this is a lot to look at, but it literally just comes down to what I explained just a few moments ago. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. This video is part of the Summer of Atlassian 2.0, and we are trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. And so if you're getting value out of this video or one of my many hundreds and hundreds of videos that I have, do consider subscribing as we're gonna get closer to crushing our goal only if you subscribe to our channel. Getting tickets in Arabic, Chinese, or Spanish? No problem. With language translation for JSM, your agents will engage with your customers as if they were natives. Simply install the app from the Atlassian Marketplace and define your project default language and go. Oh, and while you're doing that, make sure you check out the description down below because our good friends over at Resolution have provided us with a 20% discount that you can use when you sign up for language translation for JSM. Don't miss this chance as they only have a few left. Also, the Jira guy and I have officially launched the Jira Life, so I recommend that you check out the link in the description down below and go and subscribe. Go show your support. We're building an amazing brand new community to the world of Atlassian, and we want you to be a part of it. Come join us and become one of our first 1,000 super fans. We would love to have you on. We banter. We talk about all things Atlassian. We have a peanut gallery. Come join us in the peanut gallery. Become an active member and just participate. Ask your questions. Just have some fun with us and we are go live every single Thursday. And so I recommend again, you check out the link in the description below so that you can join on all the fun. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need